What's up fellow foragers? Today is Sunday, May 16th. We haven't really done an official chanterelle video, but in Florida around this time you can start finding these. This is what it looks like. You can find them on the side of the road, like the clay road, the country road. Um, make sure you are not on somebody's property. I think the embankment where they you know scrape the road from time to time I think that's all right if somebody came by and asked me I would tell them what I was doing and I would make sure that you know I was in the right and I would ask permission but it's just it is just on the side of the road right here and there's more this is the basket that I got so far some really big ones um we have two different kinds most likely uh this this is a smooth chanterelle for sure. Look at this one. They're so nice. They smell really good. Nice sweet smell. I'm not paying too good of attention of what I'm looking at with the camera. I'm kind of on a cliff. So we don't want to go too far. We don't want to go up into the woods too far. Just in case it's somebody's property that doesn't have a sign put up or whatever. But look. We're going to have plenty. There's ones there. I should move it a little bit slower. Let's try to be less shaky. Here's one here. We're in North Florida. This one's a little bit past gone. You can see that's kind of what they look like. We're in North Florida. They do grow here. Thank God. And this is what you're looking for. Very easy to identify. Now I'm going to have to look at these. So here's a perfect example. Jack-o'-lanterns grow as the okay there's a poisonous one called the jack-o'-lantern that kind of looks like a chanterelle but to a beginner it'll absolutely look like a chanterelle especially if you're excited and you want to keep everything you find it's really hard to reject uh when you're really excited you can't, you just want to keep everything anyway so we're going to look at this i don't want to disturb their little area but even the ones that are growing near wood can be chanterelles they can form clusters of maybe just a few. I find them uh, clusters of two actually pretty often. But if I was looking for jack-o'-lanterns, I would be looking for more of like orange gills. These gills cannot be removed from the cap. They're more they're part of the cap, if anything. You can scrape them away, but they can't be removed like the gills, I suppose, of a jack-o'-lantern or any of your amanitas and you know, sometimes the cap and the gills are absolutely two different things and you can pull them apart. These are called false gills. We're probably looking at the golden chanterelle or smooth chanterelle. <laughs> I'm trying to blow bugs off of my face while I'm doing all this. Um, but those are chanterelles there. They could be a little bit dirty. Only take the real nice ones. Try to be, try to be good. Try not to be stingy. Take the real nice ones, leave the buggy ones, because you can ruin your spot. You'll get overzealous and uh, possibly not leave anything else to drop spores, but what you bring home is full of bugs and you got to throw it away or something. So I'm just letting you know that they do grow this time of year in North Florida. Thank you for watching this video. I'll have more mushroom videos as well as pawpaw videos. Check out some of my other ones. Just showing you what I find. Okay, well thank you so much, see you next time.